Welcome back to today's cringe. Today we're looking at nice guys. I think we all know what a nice guy is in modern terms. It's someone who thinks they're the prince slayer of Poon charming, but they're actually like a slug. They just keep coming back. You put some deterrent on them like salt and they just come back, but they're pissed off at you for some reason. I think there's also just something hilarious at laughing at someone who claims to be everything they think they're not, or just the fact they watch Alpha Chad's podcast on what women want 101. A woman says, I want a confident man. What that means is implied attraction. We're going to go here. We're going to do this. You don't fucking ask her for her opinion. Bruh. Period. Ever. Yeah, dude, totally. I, I don't want a girlfriend. I want a slave. <laughs> I'm gay. I mean, what do these people even bring to the dating pool? You have like the opinions of a fart. So let's just get into it. Let's have a look at what these nice guys are up to. Hey, been following you for a while. You had posted photos on a fashion sub. You're cute, lol. I normally don't slide into DMs, but you're a special case. Let me introduce myself. If somebody said to me, you're a special case, I'd be like, are you calling me like mentally handicapped or something? You look mentally challenged. Allow me to introduce myself. I'm blank, 33 male. I work as a lead software engineer, blank SF. You can see my posts, lol. I'm not lying. I'm half black, half white, light skin, the good brown, not the Indian one. Yeah, I'm the good kind of brown, guys. I'm not the smelly pieces of shit Indian ones who have traditional festivals where they throw feces at one another. I'm the good brown. See, look, I'm the good kind of brown. The fact that someone said I'm the good type of brown is absolutely wild. I would love to have a conversation. I have a good sense of humor and I can hold an engaging conversation on every topic. Do reply, you won't regret it. Okay, so straight off the bat, this guy is just already just flaring off a load of red flags. The fact that he did just say he's the good kind of brown and not the Indian one is just absurd. Like, like what does that even mean? But as you'd all expect, the individual here did not respond to this person's really engaging conversation skills. So let's just see what this guy had to say. Hey, I can see you being active. Why don't you reply? And then obviously they go on to post something else and he responds with, Now you have time to post but you can't reply? You realize I can track your IP, right? You know what? You people are shit. You people deserve to be treated like shit. Piece of shit beggars. And then obviously just frick off, bitch. Was this message offensive? <laughs> What's the logic here? Hey, you didn't respond to my text, so I know where you live. I'm going to track your IP and I'm going to come and have a really engaging conversation with you. I can only imagine the kind of direct messages a lot of women would get off guys and just never post it. Because honestly, some dudes are just insane. Let's just uh, move on to the next one. So we've got someone here who just really wants to send a video. I think we all know what the video is likely going to be. Like, who in their right mind when you start speaking to someone is like, hey, I want to send you a video. It's totally not going to be my schmeet. But let's just see what he has to say. Okay, I'm going to send you a video. Please don't be mad. I'm just trying to make you laugh. I could use a laugh, so feel free. I'm not mad either. You're just the one who said you didn't want to be friends. Uh-oh. Are you sure? You promise you won't get mad, friend? Unless it's something that's going to annoy me, then yes, I'm sure. It might just keep an open mind. And if you block me afterwards, I don't blame you. Hey, I, I want to I wanna send you a video. I'm not going to tell you what it is. Just keep an open mind. And if you decide to block me afterwards, then yeah, I don't blame you. Like, who, who, who sends anything like that? Just sounds so ominous. We all know what it's going to be. And they just respond with, okay. And then they just go, you said you like toxic, right? So this should be right up your alley. Hey, you said you like toxic people, so let me just let me just send a video of my Schmeet. We don't even know if it's gonna be his Schmeet. It's just like, what else could it be? You're really not off to a great start right now, blank. Why don't you just send the video? Please, I was off to a 
perfect start, and then you freaked out for some reason. You know exactly what I'm talking about. Hey, I was being, I was being a pretty normal guy. I just wanted to send a really ominous video. Here's the classic turnaround coming where they're being weird and they almost want to gaslight you into thinking you're being weird. And when you don't go along with their master plan, they just get really defensive and start taking the moral high ground. But the thing is, their moral high ground is the bottom of a bin because they just don't really have any morals. I know what I said, just send the video. Is that supposed to be an order, Drill Sergeant? Oh wow, you actually said my first name. You must be serious. Are you purposely trying to annoy me? <laughs> well, we tried the nice guy approach. That clearly didn't work. So now we have to change it up. Toxicity up. I mean, just what you're seeing here is someone who is completely delusional and they probably watch all these alpha male podcasts where they tell you women don't want respect. They want someone who treats them like complete trash. And they feel like being nice for a short period of time is what's going to win over a girl, or what they think is nice is just them being really weird and odd when it's not. And when their attempt at being nice, like this case giving them the option to block them after wanting to send a weird video is denied, they see that as all women are trash and just want some toxic man. Like it's actually kind of baffling how just brain dead stupid some guys are. Come on, blank, don't be so triggered. <laughs> I just wanted to I just wanted to send a video of my dick. Why why are you getting so triggered? Obviously this dude is called Eric. What an absolute dork. No offense to anyone called Eric, except this guy. This guy can get in the bin. Here's the deal. You can block me, tell me to go frick myself, or keep following me on social media. I won't lose sleep either way, lol. I'm not gonna send it. I'm curious to know if you ever got a text like this from a guy. What the frick is wrong with you? I'll just save the trouble. I'll just block you. <laughs> what sewer do these guys honestly crawl out of? Hey, I want to send you a video, but if you don't want to see it, you don't, don't, be, don't get mad at me. I'm just going to send it. I can only imagine the conversation he has with his friends. I was just going to send her a video of my schmeet and then this biatch just got all like triggered and stuff. So I did the mature thing and I said, you know what? I'm not even going to send it. I'm going to block you. The bar was already low, but Jesus Christ. Let's move on to the next one. So this next post is by Art and Vo... F I we're just going to call him Art. Thanks for judging, even though I was nice. Okay, let's read this. Would you sell any content? I thought of selling coloring pages, but decided to share them for free. The post is pinned on my profile. So Art here, bless her, is doing a great job. She's immediately shutting down this nice slime's attempt at getting more. You know, she said, she's just saying like, hey, my art's there pinned. Check it out. You know, she's not selling artwork with writing underneath, which says, buy two pieces, might throw in a picture of my bum. The thing is, nice guys don't really pick up on hints. That's kind of their uh, thing, really. They just kind of keep going. To which he then responds, I meant adult content because you look great. But if not, I understand. And thanks for not being mean about it. Your artwork is phenomenal. Wow, what a nice guy. I mean, yeah, he's just saying your artwork is great, but he's clearly disappointed he can't get a naked picture of you. Please, please don't ask women that. It's dehumanizing, and I feel like I need to wash myself after interacting with you. Why? Why don't you just go directly to OnlyFans and ask women who you know for sure sell adult content? If I look great, it doesn't mean I'm a sex worker. But it's socially acceptable now is why I don't do OF or buy from these models because you can find everything for free on the internet from their OF means nothing to me, I only buy it if it's not something already posted online that anyone can see. Thanks for judging, even though I was nice, at least I thought I was. No, it's not socially acceptable, thanks for treating me like a object that definitely deserves judgment. Stop, just leave me. I like how he just says he's like almost like some connoisseur for nudes. Yeah, I don't do OF, I like, I like the prestige steak kind of nudes, not the McDonald's Big Mac ones you can get anywhere. I want the flaming yawn. The flaming yawn stick fucking nudes. I don't even know what I said there. I'm trying to say like flaming yawn. The steak. Do you guys know what I'm talking about? I don't know. I think it's expensive. This guy just wanted his milk from the tit, you know. He wanted it straight from the udder. He didn't want some processed nude. He wanted... <laughs> he wanted the, the fresh crop. 
So this next one is probably definitely someone who is very young. So we're going to use some uh, Gen Alpha lingo here. He definitely didn't really have the riz in this conversation. I mean, like, no cap. This guy was probably fresh out the womb, a nice guy. Hey, baby. Hello. Why did it take you so long to respond? Don't you care about me? It's literally been a minute. Like, you could be doing anything in a minute. I could just be taking, like, a steaming dump. But hey, I've got to respond to this guy. I don't know who you are, and I was working. Do I know you? Nah, but I'd like to get to know you, baby. And your pussy. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ. I like how they just completely ignore that message, and they're just like, where did you get my user? <laughs> From heaven, you left it when you fell down, angel. <laughs> The cringe is unreal. Sorry, brother, but I ain't interested in you. I don't even know you. Can you please tell me where you got my user from? Obviously, the rejection is now beginning to set in for this nice guy because his response is just what any normal person would say. No, bitch. Slut. I hope you freaking die. I'm sorry, baby. I didn't mean that. I found you from the Minecraft server. I saw your build. It was so good. You're the only girl that is good at Minecraft. If anyone's wondering what you get when you get a socially inept male on a Minecraft server and they want to speak to a woman, exhibit A right here, ladies and gentlemen. I know more extremely skilled women than men in the Minecraft building scene. I mean, I don't play Minecraft, but I mean, yeah, sure. Can I see your boobs? No. Hey, baby, I found you on this Minecraft server. Uh, can I see your boobs? I'm gonna have to blank some words in this next part because it is just so unhinged. He just goes on to say, Not asking? Mm, I'm so hard right now. Show me them so I can bust and stop being hard. Bruh. Or I'll report you on the server and find your IP and come over and spaghetti you until you die, then spaghetti your corpse, little bitch. Respond. Like, where are these kids' parents? Seriously. Why aren't you chasing after me? I didn't mean that I'm nice. Nice guys never get the girls, bro. You post your gay lesbian bitch reaction gifts. I bet you'd rather frick a hobo than a nice guy like me. Yeah, dude, what a solid response. I'm sure any girl would love to hear the fact that if they didn't want to get with you, they would rather get with that homeless person out on the street there. Like, what did I even actually just read in this entire conversation? I honestly feel like my brain just crashed. Like I've said, nice guys always finish last because they just don't know when to stop. Like, the game's over, buddy. You're not even in the game. You put your name into the character select screen and you got banned straight away. I think that's it for enough nice guys today. If you guys enjoyed the video, be sure to like and subscribe. It really helps me out. You can follow me on Twitter and Instagram. Send me any content you want me to look at and I'll be sure to check it out. So yeah, remember guys and girls, nice guys finish last because they just don't know when to stop.